It's now time for Zero's Endgame to commence. Welcome back to Mega Man X4, ladies and gentlemen, here on Channel 84 Winnipeg. In the last episode, we defeated both Cyber Peacock and Storm Owl, and now we're off to the spaceport for the duel with the Colonel. Let's go! Ready! So just like last time, we've got a whole bunch of these Repliforce goons that are trying to stop us. But we're gonna cut through them like nothing. After all, we do have this nip new spiraling sword attack now. And it just makes everything into mincemeat. And it really makes traversing the level that much easier. Haha! <laughs> nice! Triple play! Mm. Out of my way, you. So yeah, we'll be done this level in no time. Fuck! Just get the fuck out of my way, you assholes! I mean, you're just nothing but a nuisance. Right. Okay, Jerry. Jerry? I'm Jeremy! Just keep calm, keep swinging your sword, and keep a cool head. You'll be fine. Hey, where'd the other one go? Oh well, no big deal. We're at the boss. Come on, Colonel, you better put up a good fight. I'm expecting nothing less. Oh boy, here we go. A duel of swords. I don't want to fight. Step back. I'm sorry, I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she loses you. Don't be so presumptuous, Zero. Save it until after you've defeated me. I've been waiting to fight with you. And unfortunately, it's not gonna end well for you. Trust me. I know how these things end. The hero always wins. Okay, so from com old comments I read, I learned that the ice is Colonel's weakness, but unfortunately, I find it a little too dangerous to execute for zero. So I'm just gonna stick with the spiraling slash, because I find that does a little more damage. And more effectively at that. By which I mean in a faster amount of time. Gotcha. At the same time, when he goes for the energy laser move, get in as many quick shots as you can because it's well worth it. This way, you don't take too much damage and you won't have to rely on using your tanks. Ah! That all you got? So as you can see, in comparison with X, Zero rips this guy apart like nothing. Almost got you. You're toast, pal! Impressive, Zero. But it's too late. What? Ripple Force is left for the space. Even if I perish, Ripple Force lives. Colonel! Zero, tell Iris that her brother died happily. Goodbye, Zero. Colonel! You put up a good fight, but in the end, the better swordsman won. Godspeed, Colonel. Godspeed. And now it's time once again to take the fight to outer space and... Uh-oh, this ain't good. They've left for outer space. Scrabble all Maverick Hunters. Iris, where are you? Iris! She left with them? No! Maverick Hunters, scramble! I'm on my way. Don't do this to me, Iris! Ah, things are really starting to get hairy. She must be at the level we're going to, the final weapon. I don't know where, and I don't know when, but we'll eventually run into her. Ready! Okay, here we go. So, like I said before, a lot of enemies that we've seen in the Air Force level. But they're easy enough to cut down, especially with this new, newly acquired Spiraling Sword. Out of my way! And just for good measure, you can die as well. Now, I'm most fortunate that I didn't have to use up one of my tanks in the fight with the Colonel. After all, no sense in having to use an item if you don't really need to. Okay, we're at the boss area. Well, the first boss area. Uh-oh. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Am I right? 
Iris! So, you fought with my brother? I'm sorry. Then it's over. Everything. Wait! Iris! Listen to me! Goodbye, Zero! Iris! She throws a spear into the air. It hits her with a blast of purple energy, and she becomes a gigantic mech armor. Okay, I'll do it. And you better start swinging your sword real fast, because you do not want her getting anywhere near you. Hit her enough times, and the purple energy sphere will come out. That's your cue to start using the Ryu engine. Because that is the, its weak point. And watch out for those great things that are hovering around, because they will get in your way. Alright. We're safe from the blast. Oh, missed. Be sure to whack Iris back a few times, because you do not want her getting in your face. Shit, that hurt. But we're doing okay so far, because we've got her down to yellow, and we're still in the green. One more. Oh, man, yes, I got her! But it's something of a bittersweet victory. We just kill our girlfriend, essentially. Iris! Iris! Zero! Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Replifoss. Let's live together. In a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist with you. Iris! Oh. Iris! 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 Ah! No, this isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? Ready! I don't know why, but I'm getting choked up just seeing that. Must be because of the recent events in my life. But anyway, we're into the second area of the final weapon. And now, we're taking the lower path as promised. This area is a lot more dangerous because there are more open pits. And these guys just ready to get in your way and just make your life a living hell. As if that's not bad enough, more of these missile launcher guys. You gotta cut them down to size real fast because if you don't, they'll keep firing the missiles and it will make you regret even living. And be sure to make make good use of your air dash because if you don't, it could cost you. Adam away. Alright. Shit. Alright, let's do this. Oh, thank God. This is getting kind of nerve wracking here. Just die. Thank you. How much further to go? Oh, we're already there. Guess I was worried for nothing then. <laughs> and now it's time to face off once again with the big brass, the big boss with the hot sauce, the general of Rebel Force. You don't look happy to see me, General. Many died because of you. Those lives are on your conscience. Your independence always has a high price. What about Iris? Did you forget her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero, you maggot. My fate is sealed. I have no choice. Really, you're not going to give me any different dialogue? What is the matter with you, man? Okay, so we're going to jump on the hands. Oh, shit. It's time to jump. Good thing this comes back with a second swing. Yeah, that's a good chunk of energy down. 
Oh man, but he took a big chunk of my health bar in a big time hurry. I don't even know what this guy's weakness is. I better back off. I take one more big hit and I'm history. Actually, it might be a good time to use one of these. Alright. Let's see what you got. Actually, that might be a better battle strategy. When he comes out like that, swing at him. Dang, missed him. That didn't hit him? Crap. That all you got? Okay, here we go again. Here we go. That was a good hit. Shit! This isn't going as smoothly as I had hoped. This is definitely a battle better suited for X. He's hurt me pretty badly now. Got down about half, and I'm in the yellow. Shit. Gotta use my other tank. Didn't want to do that, but it's what I gotta do. You missed. Ole! Up top. Okay. Just some more damage if I can. Send out the hands again, eh? Okay. I think I gotta pat her down. Okay. This is working. Come on. I'll take you out of the trash. Shit. That wasn't good. Fuck. One more good solid hit on you, and the battle is mine. Gotcha! The head is gone, and the body will die. Or so I like to say. And he's in blazing ruins again. What is this? What happened? No! This weapon can't be working! Gerald! What's wrong? Someone else is controlling it! Then, Earth's in grave danger. It must be stopped. I'll handle this. Okay, Zero, go for it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this wraps up the video. One more video to go, and the series is done. Tune in next time for the battle against Sigma. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And if you haven't, catch up because you are not going to want to miss this. It's going to be a hell of a finale. Peace out!